Well, a brand new season of high school football is one week away, and after a state championship in 2021, one local team is transitioning from celebration to preparation. The Ritchie County Rebels etched their names into the history books in 2021 with the first state championship in program history. While taking home the trophy may be an unforgettable experience, head coach Rick Hott has been imploring his team to leave the highs of the previous season in the past. They're not the same group and, and we're not playing the same teams that existed last year either. I mean, it's a new year for everybody. Every team will be different. They'll di have different strengths and weaknesses and, and we'll be measured with how well we play against teams that we face this year, not, not anything that happened a year past. That message is coming through clearly to the players in preparation for their title defense. And the senior leaders on the team that were big parts of last year's effort are helping reinforce Hot's message. I think our team has done a pretty good job of putting that behind us. We realize we're a different team than we were last year. We're turning a lot of new guys, uh, lost a lot of guys last year, so we had some holes to fill. And our guys are, are doing a good job competing. Uh, I like to be able to see the, the in-team competition there. It's always great to have that. There are certainly starting jobs up for grabs for the Rebels this fall after the departures of so many important seniors, including first-team All-State captain Gus Morrison. While there's no good way to fill in the gaps in production Ritchie County needs to plug, that's what this preseason practice has been all about. At this point, we're just trying to figure out who our best 11 are, and, and, and they're trying to kind of... I guess for a better way of saying it, they've just got to go from being you know, a guy that's been watching games to, to being the guy that's on the field making plays. One place the Rebels won't have to worry about is the quarterback position as 2021 first-team All-Stater Ethan Hott returns for his fourth season commanding the offense. Having a, a three-year starter on there that uh, I'm, he, really helpful because you know he's so knowledgeable that he's he's making sure everybody's lined up and and helping with where to go so it's almost it, you know it's it's having another coach on the field as a soon-to-be fourth year starter hot has experienced much of this program's climb over the last few years and he's embracing a bigger leadership role now as a senior i feel like i I have the ability to be able to be a leader on this team, and uh, especially with my four years of experience, I, I've been in the system for a while, so I know what's going on. I know what our coaches are wanting to see. So I'm, I'm able to lead these younger guys and the non-experienced guys into, into what they're supposed to do, especially on the offensive end and getting into more of the defensive side of it. While there may be a few growing pains along the way, Ritchie County isn't looking to back down from the expectations, and their preseason mentality has reflected that. Uh, I think their mindset, their mindset of just not stopping of the work. I mean, none of them want to quit. They all want to keep pushing through even when it's hard, hot, and just they're just dead. They just they just keep pushing through for everything. Ritchie County opens the 2022 season at Tyler Consolidated on August 26th for the first of three consecutive road trips before reopening the renovated Chuck Schofield Memorial Stadium on September 23rd against Doddridge County.